Okay. Now let's deal with the width of a pavement, or I can say width of a carriageway as well. Okay. So we have a carriageway like this. I'll show you a cross section. Fine. We have a vehicle. So width of a carriageway for a single lane is 3.75 meter. 3.375 meter. So how exactly this figure has come out? So we have a standard width of a vehicle. We have a standard width of a vehicle as 2.44 meter as per IRC, Indian Road Congress. Okay. So this width is 2.44. Okay, so width of a vehicle is 2.44 meter, and we provide a clearance on either sides. Okay, on either side we provide a clearance of 0.655 meter. So ultimately it comes to 3.75 meter. Okay, this is for single lane. Now, suppose we have a multi-lane road. In case of a multi-lane road, if I speak about a two-lane road, what generally we do is 3.75 into 2 will come the width of a two-lane road. But don't do like that. For two-lane road, instead of taking 3.75, take just 3.5 meter. So 3.5 meter into 2 comes out to be 7 meter will be the width of Two lane road, three lane three lane road. It will three point five into three. Four lane road, four into three point five. So it should be multiples of three point five. Okay, this is in case of multi lane road. If we have a uh, two lane road without raised curves, so suppose we have a road. Okay, we have a road, and there are no curves. Actually, we generally, if we have, this is a cross section of road. We have a footpath like this. Okay. On either sides, we have a footpath. Okay. In case suppose we don't have these curves, okay, we don't have these curves, then the width of a road is 3.5 meter. Three point five meter. Okay. In case of raised curve. It will be, suppose now, we have a raised curve like this. Then for raised curves, we don't have 3.5 meter. It is 3.75 meter. 3.75 meter. Increase it slightly because we have a raised curve. There is slightly disturbance on either sides. So increase it to 3.75 meter. Well, there is a concept called as intergymate carriageway which has a width of 5.5 meter. Intergymate carriageway which has a width of 5.5 meter. Well, as already I have said in case of multi lane road, just multiply in terms of 3.5. 3.5 is the standard width for that. 3.5 into 2, 3, 4, whatever number of lanes are given. Okay. So, um, then traffic separators or medians generally we call these call as a dividers. Okay, generally what we see in order to separate the uh, two uh, in order to separate the vehicles which are coming from the either side. Okay, so these are uh, generally provided. The main main function is to provide uh, avoid the head-on collision. Okay, then as per the IRC recommendations, um, the width of a median okay is five meter. For roller highways and on long bridges, it may be up to 1.2 meter. Okay, this is theoretical part. If you go through any standard test book, you'll get it. Okay. Then is the road margins, which on C, which we see on either sides. Actually, we call it as the shoulders, like shoulders. Okay. This is the suppose this is the main road. Okay. Then on the main road, we have a shoulders on either side, uh, like this only. It is fine. So. Uh, the minimum shoulder width as per uh, given by the IRC is 2.5 meter. 